The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. machine it's the green the decaying one the gas yes it's not good for living beings we don't have time for that i am not moving until the wrong is set right damn it I'd be better off finding a tool. Should do it. Let's move. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. How dare you? No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She's weak, physically and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. <laughs> Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the Count will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world 
will fall, Rita. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Come on, it's over now.
Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. There is nothing left for you on Darkwater. Except my sins. Sarah, we all know you're not responsible for the actions of your husband. And what about the Wanderer? The creature who killed Francis Sanders. So, he met his fate. You understand, yes. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger, <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. 
But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature, and to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Ah, it's you again. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. That's all I wanted to know. All in good time. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? <laughs> Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She survived her encounter with the Shambler. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Did Charles Hawkins break the lock to enter?
If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. It's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know... Us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. 
You might want to try that next time.